The obvious question that arises is why a Florida Weather Service office is doing a video about a winter weather phenomenon. The answer is rather simple. Meteorologists and weather enthusiasts in general are often interested in a wide spectrum of hazardous weather, even those that may not be a direct threat to their region. Also, lake effect snow is often a national news story, like it was for the event around Buffalo, New York in November of 2014. Finally, the process that produces lake effect snow is not entirely foreign to the state of Florida, as will be shown a little bit later in the video. Now we invite you, sit back, relax, and let's talk a little bit about how lake effect snow works. Lake effect snow forms during the winter months when cold air masses dropping south from Canada move across much warmer lake waters. The waters of the Great Lakes become local warm spots during the winter. Winter cold fronts sweep down, delivering Arctic air and increasing the temperature difference between the warm waters and the cold air above it. This temperature difference is called instability, which promotes air to rise. Cold and dry Arctic air moves over the relatively warmer waters of the Great Lakes. The lower levels of the atmosphere become unstable. This promotes the air to rise. The rising air quickly condenses into building clouds within this cold air mass aloft. The clouds continue to build and move downwind with the prevailing flow. This process continues until snow begins to fall. The snowfall can become heavy as rising motion is further enhanced by moisture being pushed uphill as it moves ashore. Rising motion, as a result of instability, forces more air into the system from the sides. When these streams of air collide, it results in even stronger rising motion. This enhancement leads to snow bands becoming even more organized and heavier snowfall rates developing downwind of the lake. Lake effect snow bands can be associated with significant snowfall totals and also sharp gradients in these snowfall accumulations. Between the 17th and 21st of November 2014, persistent lake effect snow bands developed downwind of Lake Erie. Some locations south of downtown Buffalo, New York received incredible snow totals exceeding 7 feet. The same process that produces lake effect snow can also produce what is known as ocean effect snow. One place common to see this effect is over eastern Massachusetts. Arctic air filters down from the north 
over the relatively warm waters of the Atlantic Ocean. The warmer air rises and condenses, producing similar snow bands to those seen off the Great Lakes. Although certainly not as common, even places such as Florida may experience this phenomenon of ocean effect precipitation. As cold air filters over the Florida east coast, after passing over the warmer waters of the Gulf Stream, the stage is now set for ocean effect precipitation to form. In the example below, from January of 2003, snow was reported at the shuttle landing facility at Cape Canaveral. A few other notable places in the United States that have been known to experience occasional lake effect precipitation include the Great Salt Lake in Utah and also Lake Pontchartrain in Louisiana.